with you, I did a whole lot of death. When we got with the Cold War, I purposely skipped over this part because, you know, just to save time, you can't cover everything, you gotta make up. Alright, I did it. Yeah, but first one. Now, um, when you guys took the test, I put in, there was a UI question on there and everybody missed it. Now, since everybody missed it, I went ahead and took it off, you know, gave everybody credit for it, because obviously if everybody missed it, I didn't cover it properly. So in your notes, go ahead and get this down. UAC. This stands for House Un-American Day. Activities. Committee. Q.A. Can anybody in the classroom tell me about the Salem Witch Trials? It's like the thing. Um, I think you're a witch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a period in early American history where these religiously zealot Puritans in New England would go around and they think that any type of misbehavior at all or any type of bad luck was somehow the fault of the devil, right? Like if they saw somebody acting strange, they didn't know anything about like germs or mental illness, or AIDS. Well, they didn't really have to bother with AIDS back then. But um, no, there was a lot of things about the world that they didn't understand. So naturally, when things happened, the first thing they'd say was, oh, it's demons and the devil or Satan or witch. Or witch. They would blame it on witches. Witches were people, were individuals in the community, or warlocks who were male witches. Witches and warlocks were individuals in the community who did the bidding of the devil. If you were accused of being a witch or a warlock, how did you prove your innocence? You threw your hands and then put you on a board, you know, and they put you on top of it. And put a rock on it. And put more and more rocks until you can taste. Or they put you in a, um, a bag. And they sank you to the bottom. Okay. They had all kinds of crazy trials. All kinds of. My, my personal favorite was the river one where they put you in a cage or put you in a bag yeah. and they dump you in the river and leave you there for 30 minutes. And they say, you know, if you float up, you're here. But you should be already dead. So That's right. They, they, they leave you there for 30 minutes. They come back. If they pull you up and you're alive, well, you're a witch. They got to bring you up to state. Of course, if they pull you up and you're dead, that means you're innocent and you're dead, but you're going to heaven. So it's not a word. What? It? Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> It, it, it's comical and it's also tragic. Oh, it, 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 it's a chapter in American history. Now, you often hear the term that history repeats itself, right? Yeah. It, it, you may make it hard to believe that something like the Salem witch trials never repeat itself. But 40, 50 years ago, it actually did. And instead of calling it the, Whalum, the Salem witch trials, it was called HUAC, the House Un American Activities Committee. And instead of hunting witches, uh, those are uh, uh, Ghosts and stuff. No, not ghosts. But instead of hunting witches and warlocks and ghosts, they were hunting communists. They were looking for communist spots. You know, a lot of what happened in the Salem witch trials was just bogus. Often, all it was was just people with gripes against other people. They would go around and say, like, say, um, I didn't like Miss Cody, I'd say, like, Miss Cody sold. She came my dream last night. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Like, say, I was trying to buy some eggs for Miss Cody, she had some chickens, and I didn't like the price she gave me for eggs, and I'd be like, um, I, I, just I think you're cheating me, Miss Cody. You know what? I'm going to get you back. And then I turn around and say, you know what? I saw Miss Cody talking to herself. She was talking to the devil. She's a witch. And then they go straight her up and punish her. There's nothing she can do about it. Yeah, it's stupid. The same thing happened during the 19, during this decade, during the Red Scare of the, of, the, of the 40s and 50s. People would go around accusing other people of being communists, of being socialists, of being communist sympathizers. Well, it was a little more complicated than that. You see, what was happening in this period was we had just finished World War II. Our allies were the Soviet Union and China, among others. Now, all of a sudden, the Soviet Union was our enemy. The Soviet Union was a threat. And China had become a communist nation. The Soviet Union, we had the atomic bomb. Now, all of a sudden, the Soviet Union, a backwards agrarian industry, a backwards agrarian nation, they also had the atomic bomb. So naturally, somebody must have spied for them and gave it to them. So this caused a lot of fear, a lot of paranoia, and a lot of people were accused of being spies and communists. A lot of people's careers and lives were ruined over this. There's one individual that you need to keep out of your notes who's, a, who's deeply associated with this particular era in American history. 
I'll probably see the same thing. Joe, I tell Joe. my friend that. They're my dog. That's my pet name. Hey, Jim. <laughs> Joe, Joe McCarthy. Joe McCarthy. Joe McCarthy was a senator from the state of Wisconsin. Joe McCarthy was the main guy running around the country saying, you're a communist, you're a socialist, you're a spy. That's how he, he had hoped to one day become president by simply going around pointing at everybody and saying they're a communist. <coughs> and what had happened was his entire campaign was simply going to be He's going to try to become president. Joe McCarthy. It's true. He was, well, his entire campaign descended to him just simply, if you don't agree with me, if you don't like my ideas, then obviously you're a communist. No. If you don't want to say the Pledge of Allegiance, then you're a communist. If you don't want to go out and work overtime, then you're a communist. It was a real terrible era in American history. Now, a lot of you guys got this question wrong on um, last week's Cold War test. We're going over it now because I don't want you guys to see this question or see this type of question on the um, EOCT. And then you know, Mr. Williams or Mr. Mays didn't cover this with us. So you guys go ahead and get this down in your notes and you might see it again when we play the game.